In this unit, our topic is about psychology. We will focus on dreams. By the end of this unit, you will figure out the mysteries about dreams, identify the global structure of an academic essay, and retell the research based on keywords. Do dreams have color? Now let's go to the text. Ever since the dawn of language, dreams have been imbued with historical, personal, and religious significance. As early as 5000 BC, Babylonians recorded and interpreted their dreams on clay tablets. Egyptians built temples in honor of Serapis, the god of dreams. People occasionally slept in these temples in the hope that Serapis would appear in their dreams and either heal them or tell them what to do to be healed. Dreams are described at length in more than 70 passages in the Bible and in many primitive cultures dreams are an extension of reality. For example, there is an account of an African chief who dreamed that he had visited England. On awakening, he ordered a wardrobe of European clothes. As he walked through the village in his new outfit, he was congratulated for having made the trip. Similarly, Cherokee Indians who dreamed of being bitten by a snake were treated for the snake bite. Today, we still try to figure out what dreams mean. Much of the interest stems from psychoanalysts who have probed the unconscious mind to understand the symbolic content of dreams. Although we do have concrete information regarding sleep stages, there is little scientific data to explain why we dream or what the dreams mean. The interpretation of dreams. Many of us dismiss the nightly excursion into the world of dreams as a second-rate mental activity, unworthy of our rational selves. By focusing only on the less mysterious waking world, we deny ourselves the opportunity of chance encounters with distant friends, remote places, dead relatives, gods and demons. But what, if anything, do our dreams really mean? This section explores three approaches that attempt to explain the nature of dreaming. In Freud's 1900 theory, the reason we dream is wish fulfillment, an unconscious attempt to fulfill needs, especially for sex and aggression, that cannot be expressed or go ungratified during waking hours. For example, people who have strong aggressive tendencies but hold anger in while awake would likely have dreams filled with violence and hostility. Freud also stressed that dreams often contain memories of infancy and childhood experiences, especially events associated with parents. And he said our dreams frequently contain information from the day or two preceding the dream. In his view, many of our dreams reflect combinations of these distant early experiences with our parents and more recent daily events. Antrobus 2000 Freud 1900, believed that the task of dream interpretation is a difficult one because we successfully disguise wish fulfillment when we dream. The term wish fulfillment here does not mean that all dreams reflect hopes. Some reflect fears. Freud distinguished between a dream's manifest and latent content. Manifest content is a dream's surface content, which contains dream symbols that distort and disguise the dream's true meaning. 
latent content is a dream's hidden content, its unconscious meaning. For example, many people dream that they are falling. In a dream like that, the act of falling is the manifest content of the dream. But the fall can represent much more than the fall itself. The latent content of one's dream might have to do with feeling out of control in one's life or failing at something. Freud believed that by uncovering the meaning of one's hidden motivations and deeper ideas, an individual could successfully understand his or her internal struggles through eventually resolving issues that create tension in their lives. A final point to be made about Freud's dream theory involves its scientific merit. Researchers have found it extremely difficult to devise appropriate methods to even attempt to verify his dream theory. Cognitive theory. The cognitive theory of dreaming proposes that dreaming can be best understood by relying on the same cognitive concepts that are used in studying the waking mind. That is, dreaming involves processing information, memory, and possibly problem solving. Unlike in Freud's theory, in the cognitive theory of dreaming, there is no search for hidden symbolic content of dreams. Folks. 1993. Rather than being an arena in which we play out our unsatisfied needs, dreams might be a mental realm where we can solve problems and think creatively. For example, the Scottish author Robert Louis Stevenson, 1850 to 1894, claimed he got the idea for Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in a dream. Elias Howe, attempting to invent a machine that sewed, reportedly dreamed that he was captured by savages carrying spears with holes in their tips. Upon waking, Howe realised he should place the hole for the thread at the end of the needle, not the middle. Dreams may spark such gifts of inspiration because, in unique and creative ways, they weave together current experiences with the past. Activation Synthesis Theory Activation Synthesis Theory states that dreams are powered by the spontaneous firing of neurons. Dreams reflect the brain's efforts to make sense out of or find meaning in the neural activity that takes place during sleep. In this view, the brain's activity involves a great deal of random activity. Dreams are an attempt to make sense of this chaos. Macaulay, 1989. The sudden, uncoordinated eye movements of rapid eye movement, REM, sleep, make the dream world move in odd ways. For instance, it might include magic carpets over an undulating landscape. Dreams tend to truncate, dissolve or shift suddenly in midstream. Freud explained this as the dreamer's attempt to elude the unpleasant and the taboo. In activation synthesis theory, this shifting is due to normal cycles of neural activation. Hobson, 1999. One group of cells simply runs its course, another set is activated, and a new dream landscape emerges. In sum, the activation synthesis view, dreams are merely a glitzy sideshow, not the main act. Hooper and Therese. 1993. More about dreams. The world of dreams raises some intriguing questions, three of which are explored below. Do people dream in colour? Some people say that they dream only in black and white, but virtually everyone's dreams contain colour. However, we often forget the colour by the time we awaken and recall the dream. 
Some people claim that certain colours have fixed meanings in their dreams. White for purity, red for passion, green for vitality, black for evil or death, for example. However, no evidence has been found to support this belief. Red may stand for passion in one dream, danger in another, and anger in yet another dream. Do animals dream? It is impossible to say for certain whether or not animals dream. We know that they have periods of REM sleep, so it is possible that they do. But dogs twitching and howling during sleep, for instance, should not be taken as evidence as they necessarily are dreaming. Do males and females dream about different things? According to extensive assessments of what males and females dream about, the dreams of males are more likely than those of females to include content about males, aggression, torso, anatomy, sexuality, and dreamer-involved success. Domhoff and Schneider, 1998. The dream content of females is more likely to include females, friends, and victimization in these surveys. About 80% of the dreams of both males and females have negative emotions present.